This is Lingo, a new game hosted by Martin Daniels, which tests your knowledge of five-letter words. We're looking for couples who enjoy word games, anagrams, and crosswords, and are extrovert enough to pit their wits on television with the opportunity to win a major prize. If you'd like to audition, please write for an application form to Lingo, Thames Television, Teddington Lock, Teddington Middlesex, TW 11 9NT. That's Lingo, Thames Television, Teddington Lock, Teddington Middlesex, TW 11 9NT. The truth from Beryl about David's other woman in Sons and Daughters, which is on, your, on its way to you. First, the news. <laughs>
the truth from Beryl about David's other woman in Sons and Daughters, which is on, your, on its way to you. First, the news. Good afternoon, the news so far today. Environment Secretary Nicholas Ridley is in Liverpool now announcing plans to double the size of the Merseyside Development Corporation. The move is part of a government package aimed at helping the inner cities. The existing Merseyside Development Corporation is to acquire 800 acres of land on both sides of the Mersey. The new area will cover the North Docks and Parliament Street in Liverpool, as well as land in central Birkenhead and New Brighton. The MDC could spend up to £90 million in the next nine years. The corporation has clearly been successful in tidying up the derelict heart of Merseyside, but criticism remains from local government about the corporation's public accountability. There's the closed garden festival site, and clearly some of the tenants here in the Albert Dock are having financial problems in carrying on. Forensic experts are examining a number of items found near the Manchester Ship Canal during the search for the body of missing computer clerk Helen McCourt. Steve Winstanley reports. It's exactly four weeks since 22-year-old Helen McCourt disappeared shortly after stepping off a bus from St. Helens in her home village of Billinge. Although a local pub landlord has been charged with her murder, no body has yet been found. On Saturday, officers from Greater Manchester's Tactical Aid Group descended on a patch of wasteland owned by the Manchester Ship Canal Company alongside Earlham Fire Station. Police said a number of samples were taken away, but wouldn't confirm they included a woman's handbag. They're now being examined by forensic experts, and detectives expect to make a statement within the next 48 hours. Police in Lee are stepping up their hunt for four youths in connection with the killing of a father of two at the weekend. 34-year-old Gary Kitts was battered to death as he walked to his home in Thomas Street, Hindley Green. A 39-year-old Cluid pub landlord has been remanded in custody for a week, accused of murdering his wife. Robin Latchman of the Avon Gogh pub at Trilogan near Hollywell is accused of killing his wife Christine early on Saturday morning. A 37-year-old Muslim priest has appeared before magistrates in Bolton charged with the rape of a woman aged 26 last Saturday. The man from Farnworth was granted conditional bail until May the 3rd when he's expected to appear in court again. Police have appealed to CB radio enthusiasts to help them solve a mystery shooting near Wrexham. The incident happened at the border petrol station at Gressford near Wrexham this morning when a man drove a yellow escort into the garage forecourt. He then blasted 19-year-old Bruce Hamer in the face with a shotgun. Hamer received slight head injuries, but his friend, 20-year-old John Shield, managed to escape uninjured. Fifteen minutes earlier, the two men had warned another CB user to stop swearing over the airwaves. The British Medical Association has released figures showing that more than 700 hospital beds in the region are unused. The BMA is blaming spending cuts and claims the figures prove beyond doubt that the NHS is in crisis. Industrial News Now and Vauxhall workers in Cheshire are to join a national strike by company workers over pensions. And Fords are awaiting the outcome of a ballot at the Halewood plant on Merseyside. 7,000 men at Vauxhall's Ellesmere Port factory and AC Electronics will join the indefinite stoppage. Union leaders called for the strike after a special meeting of delegates in the Midlands were told management had not come up with a new deal over pensions. The workers have so far carried out a two-year battle to improve their pension scheme. Management have until 3.15 on Friday afternoon to suggest an improved deal. And officials of white-collar unions at Ford's Halewood plant have deliberately held back the result of their pay ballot taken yesterday. They don't want industrial disputes to interfere with the plant's 25th anniversary celebrations planned for tomorrow.